Hello guys, welcome back once again. It's been a long time we uploaded a new video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain and also give you a strategy that you can use to predate a handicap button. And also by the end, don't forget, I will give you the best strategy that you can use to predate your own handicap games. So guys, before we begin, let's go ahead and select our games. So I'll head to my game session or my sports session and go and choose the game I want. And as I'm going to choose the game I want, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel and hit on the notification button so that anytime I release a new video, you won't miss them. Or you'll be the first one to get notified by YouTube. You know, it's been a while, almost three weeks now, I uploaded a video. So I'm going to make this very quick. So here's are the games I selected. Let me sort it by time. So that you can see all the recent upcoming games. At the top session okay so here we are let me go through in and let me choose the one I like I think this I don't know most of these teams so okay here here is Copa America this game Copa Iloga versus Colombia Copa America so let me click on that and let me go and use this team to explain the handicap betting strategy to you. The handicap betting, most of the most of guys find it very difficult, and I've been received a comment about this. So today I decided to make a video and explain it. So if you click on the handicap session, or if you click on the game you want to play as a handicap betting, what you have to do first is, I am right now I am using sporty bet to explain it to you but this will work as the same as bet to a hollywood bet and all other bookmakers or other sports betting sites so let's go and look for where they say handicap the handicap they have so many handicaps so you have to be careful here they have an asian handicap this is an asian handicap these games you can see this is asian handicap this is a different one I will go and explain this one in later video, but for today's video, I want to explain this so that I won't keep this video very long, so that I can keep it very short as possible as I can. Let let me use this for let me use this one too to explain it to you. What this means is that if I choose here and select the home team, what means is that I have already given the home team one goal so at the final resource uh, they will add this one goal to the home team resource if the home if they add it to the home team resource and the home team goal is higher than the away team or yes it's higher than the away team i have won or let's say i choose one zero here and let's say i choose the away team let's say i say it's the away team to win at here so many in order to win this game if they in the final or in the total resource, the away team goal should be greater than the home team. After after they added this one goal to the home team here, and the same teams apply to here. Let's say I choose this one. Let's say I say the home team to win, although I've already give the home team two goals. The away team goal should be greater than the home team guys if you check this game this is like not likely to happen so let me go and change it to let the home team to win i will I choose the home team at here i already given two goals meaning the home team has scored two goals already before the game will start so at the final they have to or you have to add these two games to the final results if you add these two games to the final results and the home team results is greater or home team score is greater than the away team, meaning I won this game. 
But if I say I choose the array team here, I mean that at the final resource, after they add even these two to the home team goes, the array team goes must be still higher than the home team. Guys, this is not very likely, you can see. And the odds is even too much higher, 25 odds. Yeah, they see the first handicap here is Zello 1. That is the score line for the first handicap. This mostly varies at the time or at the particular games that they are going to play. So, but for this game, this is um, Illogra versus Colombia. The first handicap here is Zello 1. What this means is that you are giving both these teams, you are giving them some certain good amount. So, after the final results, you are going to add this resource that you selected here. So, this one, which is the Zello one, this is the um, eight predictions or where you can choose it from. And if you want the Zello two, Zello two here, two, you can choose it from here. So, let's say we want to bet on handicap Zello two. What this means is that we say after the final game, the results, no matter how the results will come, we will add this Zello 2 here to the final game. Then we make the decision whether it is in our favor or not. But this is where the trick is. The handicap is very fantastic too that everyone can use when they are placing the bet. But most of most of the people do not understand this well. So as I already said, if you choose the Zello 2, Zello 3, or a tier, here it is the 1, 2, 1, Zello, and 1, or 2, Zello. What you mean is that, let's, let's use the first one for example, Zello 1. If I choose the Zello 1 and select the first one, what I mean is that I have give the away team, which is the Columbia, one goal. So let's say the final resource ended 3, 1 against the away team. And I choose this. So three, since it's ended 3, 1 against the away team, we are going to add this to the final game or the final resource. So 3, 1 plus Zello 1, which is, which is equal to 3, 2. Still the home team won so since i selected the home team meaning i have won the, this game but let's say it ended if we added this resource here which is the zero one to the final resource and the resource the final or the total resource is not in the favor for the home team which i selected at here then i i'm going to lose my game you have a chance to also choose a draw. Let's say this is a draw here. And um, let's say I choose the draw. And the final resource, they play the game. And the final resource went like um, 1, 0. If I add this resource here, 0, 1 to it, it's going to be 1, 1. So meaning it's draw. So I see I won that game. Or even if the final resource ended in let's say 2-1 and I add this resource to it and the total will be like 2-2 two, two, meaning it happened draw so I won it but if we add the final resource here to the final re uh, if we add this total number here or this total score here and the Final result isn't corresponding with what we choose here, or it's maybe vice versa, then we, we lose the game. Cap is the best strategy. It's almost most of the times it's like if you know how to use it, it's better than even a double chance. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And guys, if you are using this strategy, make sure that for example, use let's say um what I will give you to you is that. If we check the home team to win and away team to win, for this game, home team has an odds of 2.8, whereas the away team has an odds of 3.20. So with this, it's likely for the home team 
to win or it's end in draw. So with this, if you are going for handicap, the handicap should be in the favor of the home team. So let's say I'm going to give a home team one goal. So if with this, if the goal or the final results ended in draw, they will add this final results to the home team, then that means I have won the game. But if you want a very stiffer side, you can give a home team two odds, two goals already, which has a very low odds. So guys, that is the strategy you can use when you are selecting your handicap betting strategy. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. And also share this video with your friends and loved ones. Check our other videos to see our Avita strategy and also football betting strategy. They are very effective. And guys, see you in one.